Every Tuesday and Thursday, hundreds of people line up in Chelsea to get food from the Salvation Army. During the summer, those lines have shortened, but Jeffrey Bailey, the Divisional Social Services Director, is worried what the lines will look like in a couple of weeks. Now that donations across the state, which Bailey says poured in during the early days of the pandemic, have dwindled. But what we're concerned about more so is in the fall and the winter, because that's when our numbers are going to increase. It's not going to be able to stand outside in different locations, and all of them going to shut down. So there won't be the summer stands that you can go get food from. Of all the Salvation Army's locations, Chelsea in particular is in need because of the number of people they help and the variety of services they provide, including after-school care, back-to-school supplies, and a recent partnership with the nonprofit Dignity Matters to provide women with monthly menstrual care products. It's one of the first things that goes when and families have to make tough decisions about whether they're going to buy food or hygiene products. And women can't go to work, girls can't go to school. It's a vicious cycle. Two years ago, Arceli Gamboa stood in this very line, sometimes for as long as four hours. Now she's working at the Salvation Army, helping her community, and asking for those who have the means to help support the work being done here that is still so desperately in need. We help everybody, everybody. We don't, we don't do exceptions. So. If a child goes to school with a full belly and they have a proper food, they're going to make themselves a better productive member of society. That, that's what we want to understand. It's not just helping someone down. It's not helping someone who's not able to take care of themselves. It's just trying to help them get through the gaps. And just to give you a sense of how great the need is here in Chelsea, over the last two years, they've given away $40 million worth of food across their 29 different locations. Here in Chelsea alone, they've given away $17 million. Reporting in Chelsea, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5.